Before you click away, the video that you're about to watch was impromptu. We literally got caught in a snowstorm driving a Tesla, so it was totally unexpected. There's a lot of good information in here if you live in an area where there's snow or anything like that. So enjoy the video. You get a range test, talk about the battery cool, uh, getting colder, uh, talk about the all-wheel drive system on literally icy back roads. I mean, it was crazy. So enjoy the video, a lot of good information. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, good evening, folks. A uh, little impromptu video. I was going to do a more full video, but as you can see at the road ahead of me here, um, we've gotten some snow, and I'm in between uh, Las Vegas and Phoenix in Kingman, and this is my first time driving the Tesla in snow. I never thought it was gonna see snow unless I drove to Flagstaff or something, and it's handling it extremely well. The one thing you can tell is just how, how precise the electric motors can be. The car is doing great. One recommendation I do have, though, when you're driving your Tesla in snow, is turn the regenerative braking from standard to low because the standard brake standard when you let off of it the gearing effect of the tires slowing down is going to make the car s swerve a little bit that happened to me going over a bridge that was totally ice the car just started to sh go side to side it happened a couple times so i turned it on to uh regenerative braking on low um, and we're just going along here. It's currently 32 degrees outside. There's snow and ice all over these roads, but the car is solid. Uh, it's all wheel drive, it's the long range, and it has the all season tires on it, so that's what you need. Yeah, that's just something I learned as I was going along here, just turning down that regenerative braking, I think is a little bit safer. You guys have to let me know what you think about that. Some of you that are in the Northeast or uh, Northwest or wherever, where you're, you get snow, um, I, I think that's a helpful, Jesus. <laughs> I think that's a helpful thing to do. Holy sh Ben. <laughs> ben! <laughs> not funny. I mean, I don't know if this video ever actually get posted the way this night's going, but uh... Okay. <laughs> don't put that energy out there. Why? I don't believe in any of that stuff, so I can just put all my energies out and they all come out okay. Okay. So, we'll continue on the road journey. Uh, one, one other thing about uh, Tesla, it's like a little inconvenient, just another thing that you have to think about if you don't already have the car, is like in Vegas today for work, I had some things I had to do, I didn't have time to charge, um, and then I, I got to the supercharger in White Hills, Arizona, with, uh, what was it, 70, or seven miles left. And I had to add charging stops just because I haven't had time to do like a full recharge. So. There's little things like that where is in a normal gas powered car, it doesn't matter what you're doing throughout your day, you just fill it up with gas real quick and you're back on the road. So charging is gonna add about 50 minutes on to this trip. Just something to think about. Uh, we'll do an update later. Okay, my arm's dying. So a little update for you. Uh, we actually stopped and talked to some people who were struggling. They were like stuck and they had to do a U-turn. It's all black ice. The roads are a total mess. I don't even think I'm on the road right now. Um, mm -hmm. I don't really know what the road is. I don't know where I'm at. But anyways. What's the road, guys? There's no road. The roads were not, they're totally icy. They're up hills. They're up steep grades. They're tight, curvy. This car is so incredibly planted. Stop I have no saying. clue if I'm in the road or not. Well, stop saying you gotta go right here. Yeah, right? Yeah. This, I, I'm very impressed. There's almost no slip. Even if you try to, uh, like, do, uh, you know, try to spin the back end. Like, if I, I'm flooring it. Jesus, Ben. Stop right freaking out. <laughs> um, it, it, the car, it's very, very safe and planted. The, also, the thing weighs 4,400 pounds. So it weighs a ton, but just the way that the electric motors can be so, so precise with the tire slip um, and along with the weight of the car and having all season tires, it's very impressive. Well, we're still cruising along here in the winter wonderland and it's the end of January, going into February. This is normally the time of year when you talk to your friends from back home who, you know, it's snowing, it's cold and miserable, and you say, can't shovel sunshine. And uh, I'm driving in the worst conditions ever in my life. I grew up in the Pittsburgh area, 
and these conditions are, they're awful. Uh, the only worry, the car is solid. The car is probably the best car I've ever driven um, in the snow, in bad conditions like this. The concern was, are we gonna be able to make it to our next supercharger location? But luckily, we've been going only 29 and 40 and 35 miles an hour for most of the trip, so we should have plenty of range. Uh, the problem is it's just taking, yeah, we should have 8% by the time we're there in charge up in Wickenburg, Arizona. So <clears throat> the cars, the cars solo has been great. This is just, these are hellish conditions. I mean, the it's blizzarding, the roads are covered, and it, not that the roads are covered, it's the ice. Snowy roads are not bad because the snow compacts, you have enough friction to gain traction, but... Uh, when it's ice, you just have no shot. And the one intersection, I hit the brakes and I just went right through it. So uh, there's a couple 18 wheelers in front of me here and uh, I'm able to just uh, follow behind them and they're like plowing the way. The car is great. The concern is getting to the supercharger with the cold temperatures. Also something that has never happened to me before. Normally when you drive your Tesla, there's these little dots that are on the screen here. Those dots as you drive the car generally go away, meaning you'll have full regenerative braking or your you get the car will perform uh, accelerate at its fullest you're getting full power because the battery is warm but it was fully warm now because it's been cold for so long and we've been going at low speeds the battery is getting cold again so I've never had that happen that's a first the car is solid I'll let you know if we make it to the supercharger So yeah, I'm sitting here editing the video and realized I didn't even film the end of the video as to whether we made it or not to the supercharger. Uh, so we did make it, everything was fine, and honestly without the snowstorm and us going at like between 20 and 40 miles an hour for the whole time, I don't know that we would have made it if it was just cold outside. I think it was, we, it was helpful that we were going that slow the entire time. So we made it, everything was fine, but it was... You know, again, just driving a Tesla, it was something extra to think about. You know, with a gas-powered car, you just go to any station, fill up, and you're good. There's only so many superchargers. And again, it has to be a supercharger. I can't sit somewhere and charge for 18 hours at 12 miles an hour. So um, everything worked out. Everything is fine. The car is incredible in the snow. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to get back to you.